guys. My name's uh, Jamie from Crossbar Coaching, Education and Sport. I'm just going to talk to you about our Future Skills Programme 21-22, um, based at Lillishaw National Sports Centre. We started our post-16 programmes uh, back in 2016. Uh, with a BTEC level three. We've since developed and advanced that and we have now come up with our bespoke, bespoke program uh, called the Future Skills Program. So we'll get straight into it. So the most important part of the program, obviously your education. So listed are the qualifications that you can achieve uh, on program with us at Crossbar. So we have our first of sport level two certificate in physical education in school sport, which can be advanced onto a level three, um, a first of sport level two award in multi-skills development and a first of sport level two certificate in coaching sport and physical activity. Um, also functional skills should they be needed. So all three of the qualifications are achievable within the first 12 months. So it can be a one year program. Um, we do have the option to go into a second year where if you have done the level two in P and school sport, you can progress onto the level three. Uh, this is all ran, you'll see in the corner, uh, through our training provider, Creative Sport and Leisure. Um, very practical based qualifications in terms of the theory side of it done at Lillishaw in the classroom. But again, very much so once we've done our session planning, once we've got our head around the elements of coaching, we, we do get out onto the AstroTurf, into the sports halls. Um, and do a lot of practical based work as well. Here's some images of some of the students from uh, last year, who uh, some of which have come on to a second year, some of which have progressed on. Some of their practical work down on the Asher Turf, putting into practice what they've been learning in the classroom. Some additional skills. So as part of the course, um, alongside those three qualifications that we've just talked about, uh, we've added in these additional workshops and additional skills, mainly to really enhance um, your employability. So in terms of when you progress from the programme, we want to be able to give you as many things to put on that CV as possible. So within the course, there'll be some employability workshops, obviously focusing on CV writing, interview techniques, etc. Uh, customer service workshops, again, even though we're focusing on sports coaching, the customer service element is working in our schools. We have to um, liaise with head teachers, teachers, receptionists, parents of the children who we're working with. Um, so being able to handle certain situations is really important. Uh, safeguarding children speaks for itself, along with emergency first aid, being a coach and, and working in, in primary schools. Um, mental health awareness, I think, is, is getting more and more important um, as, we, as we move through the years. Um, so again, just understanding what, what to look out for, how we can help, how we can support in those areas. Uh, and then finally, manual handling. Obviously, working in the sports industry, there's opportunities um, and circumstances where we're setting up equipment, goalposts, basketball hoops, nets, badminton nets, etc. Um, and again, in terms of enhancing that employability, we, we're talking about standing out from the crowd. So if you're going to be applying for a job at, let's say, a leisure centre, um, your CV is going to be alongside a load of others and they might be looking for, well, what has this person got additional to, to, the, to the next person? Now, if you've already got your manual handling, your safeguarding, your emergency first aid, then it's going to save them a bit of time in, in what they're going to have to train you in. So it might be the difference between you getting the job and the next person. Um, so nice picture there of Lillishaw National Sports Centre. That's actually the main house. Uh, it's currently being converted into a into a hotel sort of wedding venue. Um, the sports centre is behind that. But again, the reason I put that picture up is just to sort of illustrate that the venue we're using is very unique. Um, it's not your average college setting uh, with thousand students on site. We're, we're, we're in a professional environment where we find our students mature very quickly um, and rubbing the shoulders with professionals. I mean, we have Team GB Archery out there. Team GB Gymnastics train out of there. We have the English Institute of Sport on site. So again, being in and around the grounds, you are in a professional environment. I think that's what, what makes our programme a little bit different from some, from some of the others that's, that's out there at the minute. Um, a quote from John Keats, nothing ever becomes real till it is experienced. Now, that moves me on to my next um, point around work experience. So a big part of the programme um, almost a 50-50 split is that when you're not in the classroom doing your theory and, and gaining those qualifications, which of course are really important, um, you are, the other side of the program is going out and, and 
earning some work experience. Now, we feel that especially in sports coaching and, and in sport in general, the practical element and the work experience is, is as not as important, just as important, probably more so important than the actual qualifications themselves. Very easy to, to look at a piece of paper and, and be taught around these, these things, but to go and see them um, actually firsthand, shadow the coaches. Uh, it's one of our apprentices in the picture there. You get to go and see what it takes to be an apprentice, what their jobs, roles and responsibilities are. You get to see our coaches um, firsthand and, and how, are they, how they're doing things. So everything you're learning in the classroom, you get to see it. Uh, in the workplace, in, in that environment, get used to turning up on time, get used to um, sort of wear, wearing a uniform and being part of a, of a programme where you, you do actually get to see what you could go on to if you were to complete the programme. So again, a lot of the students we, we take on are looking for apprenticeships in the future, looking to be sports coaches in the future or PE teachers working in that industry. So one of the questions I always ask when I'm interviewing whether it's a new coach, whether it's a new apprentice, one of my first questions will be, what are your experiences of working with children, working with schools and coaching? Um, in their defence, a lot of the time, if it's a student who's just left college, they'll turn around and say, well, I've been at college for two years. I've, I've got no experience. Uh, they might have done a week work placement, whereas on our programme, you get well over 100 hours um, the time you're with us because we factor that into your timetable. So two days a week, you will be doing your qualifications over at Lillishaw um, in the lecture theatre there and, and some of the other seminar rooms that we use, um, if not doing the practical out on the AstroTurf. And then another two days, even three days for some of the guys who, who are really looking to, to push on and, and get those apprenticeships at the end of it um, is based in a primary school, uh, like, like you'll see there, uh, assisting with the sports coaches in our primary schools across Shropshire. There's also opportunities for placements in other sporting sectors. Some of our guys are, are keen to go into personal training and be physiotherapists. So again, we look to get their work experience in, in those areas of, of, of that sector. Um, some opportunities for enrichment. I'll just reel through some of those there. Um, you'll notice Love to Stay, where they can go and do some team building. Stuart Stable, which is one of our facilities, four acres of land to do some outdoor red. Um, again, just to give the guys a bit of a break from the classroom and a, and a break from the working environment, we get to go out, um, have some fun, do some, some team building exercises and, and bond as a group. Uh, St. George's Park, you'll notice is on there. Again, that's one to go and raise some aspirations, see what jobs in sport are out there. Um, and again, give, give an opportunity to, to sort of understand what is it that I want to do next once I've got my qualifications, what area of sport do I want to go into? Um, athlete development again some of the students that come on board are actually keen sportsmen whether it's rugby whether it's football whether it's athletics the two guys in the picture there two of our students um, were actually 100 meter sprinters so we built this into their program as well and, and alongside their work experience and alongside their qualifications they actually did some strength and conditioning we supported with their training did some injury prevention programs some sport specific testing through the English Institute of Sport and created them some individual programs so Part of their timetable was they actually got some time where they could go into the gym, work on their programs. Um, and, and again, athlete development is something that we can help with. So future pathways, again, really important is understanding where can this lead? So if I came on and, and was a part of the future skills program, the Crossbar College of Sport, what, what could that lead on to for me? So the obvious one is sports coaching apprenticeships with us at Crossbar, um, which is what a lot of the guys are, are aiming for. Now, you are in a, in a very strong position for that. There's no guarantees. I can't sit here and say that if you come and be a part of the Future Skills Programme that you'll get an apprenticeship. But what it will do is it will put you in a really strong position. Um, I'll get to get the feedback from the tutors who you've worked with, the feedback from the schools where you've been working and the coaches. So if you do come on board and you do get the qualifications and you do impress during your work experience, the first place that I'll be looking in terms of recruiting our apprentices for September next year will of course be on the college program. So we've already got a couple of the guys who we've, we've sort of earmarked and we're, we're hopeful that they can, they can continue to kick on the way they are. Um, some of the students are looking to go into employment in other areas and other sporting sectors that we've mentioned, um, i.e. personal training, et cetera, working in gyms, working in leisure centers. So again, we can help with that, identify which area you wanna go down, the necessary route you need to take and the pathways um, for that. And then some, some of the students want to do some further education. So continue, get some more qualifications. Um, and even we've had a couple of students who have, have then gone on to apply to university. So again, we make sure that you get the necessary diploma that's, that's needed 
through your level three qualification to, to go on and apply for university. Um, so why crossbar? I suppose there are lots of sports programs out there, which I'm well aware of. Um, again, the, the fact that we're out at Lillishaw makes us a little bit unique in terms of we're not your average college setting. Um, we've got their bespoke further education consistent of industry recognized qualifications. So again, the first for sport quals that you, re you receive are, are very well recognized across the board in terms of sport. The unique professional environment that you're going to be working within, um, giving you the opportunity to strive and to achieve. Free transport, again, will be a big part of being able to get to and from uh, to, the, to the place where you're going to be learning over at Lillishaw. We have our crossbar minibuses and our eight-seater that's, that's able to pick up at um, various places across Shrewsbury and Telford and get you over to, to Lillishaw. And then again, we, we do have the opportunity to help you with transport for your work experience where we look to place you at a primary school sort of within where, where, you're, where you live. So it's accessible um, and we, we basically leave no excuses where you can't come into this environment and, and achieve. Um, we talked about the pathways and, and of course, I think it's important to understand that those pathways can be outside of Crossbar, but there are some very clear pathways within Crossbar as well. So as an organization, we're able to, yes, give you the quals you need, yes, give you the experience you need, but also give you opportunity to potentially um, become a Crossbar coach and, and this be your full-time job and, and this could be your career path. So we've, we've got coaches at present who are part of our staff who have come through apprenticeships um, who are now going on to further education and, and within their role at Crossbar, full-time coaches. Some, some are going on to level three teaching and learning. Some are going on to level four advanced sports coach qualifications. And some are now even going on to level five in, in teaching and learning skills. So we're, we're always looking to improve and, and, and help our, our staff to, to get to the next level. Um, so there are, there are those clear pathways, whether it's outside of Crossbar or whether that's within our organisation. Um, and again, being focused on being work and life ready. So the skills that you'll learn and the skills that we um, look to instill during the programme are something that you can take away to go into your, your, work in, your work in life and making sure that you are um, more employable by the end of the programme. Albert Einstein, quote from him there, just really to back up a little bit about what we talked about there in terms of experience. Information is not knowledge. The only source of knowledge is experience. You need experience to gain wisdom. I think it's a really, a really telling quote um, that sort of backs up that idea of qualifications are brilliant and are very important, but in terms of the experience alongside it, it does go a long way. So how do you apply? If this is a course that you would be interested in for September next year, um, the numbers on there, uh, admin at crossbarcoaching.com is the, the email address to, to show your interest. Um, and the, the application link is available now on creativesportandleisure.co.uk forward slash apply. Um, but any form of getting in touch with us at Crossbar, someone will be able to point you in the right direction. If it's further information you need or some questions that you'd like answering, um, someone will be more than happy to, to help you with those. But thank you for your time. Um, and I hope that's been informative in terms of anyone who is interested in the programme.